We created this thing called Jazz Braille. Mandy Redvers Rowe, writer, performer. Where Matt would give us a, an emotional starting point, Craig would play improvised music, and I would begin brailing in time to the music, but speaking what I was brailing. And through that, it opened up a whole new wealth of material. And it seemed to be a, about me, the writer. Ping pong balls in an egg carton spell out in braille. Measuring up. Measuring up is about a... Matt Rudder, co-director. A story about uh, Mandy. And the story of, of me as a writer. Uh, me as a, a blind writer, particularly, I suppose. We get to see snippets of Mandy's life. Rachel Townsend, performer. Whether it's a personal life, a life as a mom, a life as a writer. It also hits on some really good political aspects as well. At the heart of it is, is my writer's block, which I think is universal to a lot of writers and a lot of writers who saw it said to me we absolutely related to that. It's also about uh, giving a voice to people who don't always get heard. Jocelyn Meal, designer. Because uh, that's uh, Mandy's passion. Sit down and write. Sit down and write. 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 She's always been a writer. Frank Peshier, dramaturg. But she didn't ever refer to herself as that. And it's her journey of coming to realise that's who she is and what she's always been. trying to place um, inclusion at the heart of all the decisions we make about the set design, about the sound, about the balance between sound and visuals. So we're not saying that everyone's going to have a, an equal experience, we, but we, what we want is everyone to have a beautiful, aesthetic, artistic experience. And who's this? Oh, this is Rachel. <laughs> She's an old friend. And a very old, old friend. Not as old as Mandy, though. <laughs> <laughs> she's doing with her hands. Oh, she's signing for the I Debbie. Sign. She doesn't know very good. <laughs> <different. laughs> but Mandy thinks she's good. Mandy's blind. Yeah, and then I play Mandy's friend Rachel, and I also um, sign as as we go. We have Craig as well, who is a musician, and the three of us have a really lovely interaction as well, all, all the way through. And there's moments where we may all play characters, we may all play ourselves, we all may play caricatures of ourselves. It's quite a physical play. It has quite funny moments, I think. It is a feel-good pace. It's inspirational, it's experimental. Mandy has got the most wicked sense of humour, which comes through in everything she does. What are you doing, Mandy? You look ridiculous! I didn't The way we created it was slightly different as well, in terms of working in a room with Mandy bringing bits of writing in, us improvising moments, devising. Uh, it kind of felt like everybody could have an input to it. It's quite a political show as well. Um, there's, a, there's a moment in it which really addresses some of the current situation we're in now. We need to be prepared to go to war. Prepare our battle strategies. Line up our words. The, the issue of, of cuts and how that's impacted on our lives and the continued lack of opportunities and the oppression that disabled people experience because of those societal problems or barriers that we, we deal with that nobody else has to deal with. So I try to highlight some of them because that is part of my story too. And my happiness, it's almost tangible and it's too big to hold inside and I, I feel it escape and bounce around the ship. It bounces off people and wheelchairs and yellow oil skins. The set is also very uh, inclusive in terms of it's very tactile, so Mandy can navigate the floor. A floor cloth which had different uh, textures and surfaces so that within that area Mandy knew where, where she was and where the audience was. At the centre of the floor cloth was a table and we put uh, braille dots on it so Mandy always knew at which point she was. 
and on the table was Mandy's braille, which was the sort of symbol of a writer's block. But behind her was a screen, it was a sort of visual metaphor for, for the blank page and the pressure that a writer feels to put something on the blank page. We just couldn't afford two actresses, so you had to merge with Miss Monroe. <laughs> We had to let you go. Stab! 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 <laughs> People should come and see Measuring Up because it's hilarious. It's a good night out and it's a really cracking piece of theatre, full of heart, full of soul. People should go and see it because I don't think they'll have ever seen anything like it before. So, K is A with dot three, L is B with dot three, M is C with dot three, N is D with dot three, and O is E with dot three. We carry on for another five until we get to U, where we add another dot, we add a dot six. So, and repeat the pattern. So U is A with dot three and six, B is B with dot three and six, X is C with dot three and six, Y is D with dot three and six, and Z is E with dot three and six. Okay. It's not worthy, it's really good fun. Come and see it and tell us if we've got it right. Maybe that's why you should come and see it. <laughs> Written by Mandy Redvers Rowe. Performed by Mandy Redvers Rowe, Rachel Townsend and Craig Gamble. Directed by Matt Rutter and Charlotte McRae. Trailer by Laura Spark. Supported by Arts Council England and Everyman and Playhouse Theatres.